Good morning, everyone. I need to put my headset in. <laughs> Good morning, Monday, January 23rd, 8.30 a.m. We're just going to give people a moment to join us live. Uh, I'm doing this from my desktop, so it's a little bit different. I've usually done Facebook Lives from uh, my phone. But today I went on my page and there was the option to do a Facebook Live right from my desktop, which is very interesting. Um, so it seems to work a little differently. I'm not sure if I'm going to see everyone um, or how it's going to work, but that's fun. You guys are always big on it, experimenting with me. So I'm on my page now and I can't see my live stream bit at all. All right, so I don't know if anybody is here, if anybody, I see one person's here. So welcome and thank you for being here. Pop in the chat and let me know who's here and where you are watching from. Today is part, part one of a five part series of Facebook Lives I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these off, um, of a five part Facebook Live series I'm gonna do this week. And we're gonna talk about our 2017 success plan. Um, you know, it's the 23rd of January and all we've heard for the last three weeks, if we weren't talking about political things, we were talking about, um, uh, business planning and resolutions and goals for the year and and there you know there's a lot of stuff out there especially after uh, December 31st that's pretty much all we talk about is goals 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 and it's not too late to start now yes we've got three weeks gone already that's an indication you know if you're still working on trying to get going on your resolution then we need to take some steps to make that happen for you and help you achieve those goals and you know believe me nobody is an island we all need our support systems we all need uh, people helping us we all need um, you know what support accountability cheerleaders all of that is so important and um, so uh, you know I really want to provide that for you and I've created the 2017 badass success planner now if you follow me at all you know I use badass a lot because uh, it means something to me to um, to think of myself as a badass and you know that's something I spent some time defining because somebody did say to me oh that's such a bad term people might put people off and search certainly if you google for badass you'll see some interesting things but it still has some meaning for me and some value that I resonate with. And I know my audience does as well. So I see some people here, Patty Farmies, Farmer's here. Hey, Patty, nice to see you. And Erica Gomez, good to see you. Thank you for being here. So, um, you know, we spend a lot of time talking about your goals for the year. And then I don't know about you, but I'm, uh, sometimes I don't stick with them. I make these great plans and I try not to make resolutions uh, at the new year because it's such a pressure to do that. But I mean, you know, you make these goals and then you don't always have a map for how to execute them. And then you get to that execution date and you go, oh crap, that didn't happen. And it can feel really disappointing and frustrating and annoying that you haven't achieved them. So I've created this planner for myself because these are the steps that I used last year. Now last year, 2016 was a tough year for a lot of people. And um, you know, I was no exception at all. It was a hard year in many ways. And in many ways, it was a fabulous year. Lots of great things happened. I had a lot of great fun, had a lot of sadness, personal loss, deaths in our family, and things that really were challenging. And then, you know, I set a plan and in motion and I took steps and this planner that I've created that you're going to get is the steps that I followed that helped me to double my business last year after the first half of the year being abysmal the second half of the year was fantastic really close to tripling my business in fact so um, you know it's it is something the step-by-step -step process that I have used and so I'm going to share that with you so there's a link in the comment of this post and if you click on that that's going to take you to a page where you can um, join me for my challenge next week now next Monday in my badass Facebook marketing club I'm starting a five-day 
Facebook for Business Made Easy challenge. And if you go to that link that's in the comments and you sign up to join me on that challenge, and it's a really simple, easy little challenge, five days, you're gonna get five emails and you are going to have five tasks that you can do that are going to turn around the way you use your business page and start getting you connected with your ideal clients really easily without taking all kinds of time you're going to get my badass success planner as a bonus for opting into that to joining that challenge with me. So go there, join the challenge. You're going to get emails so you don't have to attend anything live. There will be live streams in the group if you want to join us, but you just get the emails and you'll get the tasks and then you're going to get the uh, success planner to go along with it. So today, first, we're going to talk about that bird's eye view, that vision that we need to guide us for the year. And I see Roger's here. Hey, Roger. Nice to see you. Um, I'm sorry that you're having audio issues. I hope everybody else is doing okay. I know you're in a place that sometimes can be challenging for uh, internet connections. Uh, Erica, I, I don't make resolutions either. Yeah. And, and you know what? I also learned a few years ago, instead of try, instead of making uh, like one big goal, I actually make three tiered goals. So I'll make, you know, my um, ground level, what I'll be satisfied with, what's sort of my first goal, then I'll do the mid range. And then I do that push goal that really is like, out of this world. If I hit that, I'm going to be over the moon. And that's my big goal that I work on. So I make those three and then I'm, I, I'm pretty much set to succeed. And I think we spend far too much time setting ourselves up not to succeed in this world. And I'd really rather succeed. So, you know, let's celebrate every success because all those little ones pile up and add up to make big ones for sure. So in the planner, first thing we talk about is how do we want to feel? Uh, <clears throat> thanks, Patty likes tiered goals. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier to be successful, right? And, and I think we really should really focus on being successful. We do so many things every day that are successes. And yet we focus on the fact that we had a cookie when we resolved we weren't gonna eat any sugar. Well, we had a cookie, but how many good things did we do? How many successful things did we do? So I like to, I like to focus on success. So <clears throat> the first part of the planner is thinking about how do you want to feel? Because our feelings do guide our actions. And I know, you know, we shouldn't let them we shouldn't let them control our actions. We shouldn't let our feelings or impulsive moments, you know, let us lash out or make big decisions in, you know, emotional moments. You've got to have a balance between the logical and the emotional for sure. But at the end of the day, how do you want to feel about what you did? How do I want to feel at the end of today? Guides me in my decisions of what I want to do today to get me that feeling. And so I want you to take a moment, as long as you're not driving, if you're just sitting at your desk or if you're sitting, you know, in a comfortable chair, just take a moment and close your eyes. And I want you to think about the end of 2017. It's December 31st, 2017. Put yourself there for a moment and just think about that. And if you're at the end of this year and you look back to reflect on this year, it's easy to think about all the things you want to accomplish, all the goals you want to achieve, and you know all the big successes that you want to have. But on December 31st, 2017, how do you want to feel about your year? Just think about that for a moment. And I want you to think about it in relation to four areas of your life, personal, fitness, financial, and business. So just think about the, uh, there might be one overall feeling that encompasses all four of those areas. And think, do you want to feel satisfied? Do you want to feel fit? Do you want to feel energized? Do you want to feel accomplished? Just think for a moment of what that feels like at the end of the year. And that's going to guide us. If I want to feel 10 pounds lighter at the end of the year, if I want to feel proud of myself, what do I have to do to feel that at the end of the year? What steps will guide me? 
And if my goal is to feel 10 pounds lighter at the end of the year, it's probably my lower end goal, it will help me to say no to that cookie today because I remember that that's my goal. So just take a moment and think about that. How do you want to feel at the end of 2017 in those four areas? Now in the workbook, you've got a page to jot those feelings down and there might be more than one. Don't just think that it's got to be one. Maybe there's going to be a bunch. And I mean, certainly it's easy to say, well, I want to feel happy. What is that? What does that feel like to you? Let's dig a little deeper. You don't have to share this with anybody. You're going to jot this down, but this is going to be your guide for all the work that you're going to do during the year is keeping in mind how you want to feel. Now in the planner, you can print this page off. There's a place for you to put your picture in the center of this page so that you can keep it really focused. And then there's the four quadrants off of the center for you to write down how you want to feel in those areas. And you can keep that in a place that's visible for you. This is, um, to me, this is like a, um, uh, dream board, which you can see over my shoulder here, I have a dream board and that's pictures, which is great. I'm, I'm just finishing up my page today of my feelings for the year and I'm going to tack it right beside that because those are visuals of what I want to achieve, but I want to make sure that those achievements are in alignment with how I want to feel about myself, my life, my health, my business, my finances, and I, and those are going to guide me to achieve those big things. So that's part one of the planner. It's all about feelings. It's all about how we want to feel. It's easy to say, you know, I want to make a quarter of a million dollars this year. But if you have to do things that you're not happy with to make that, like if that earning that money means you can't pick your kids up from school every day and your kids are your priority in your life, then your goals aren't in alignment. And at the end of the day, you may have that $250,000 that you've earned, but you may have a disconnect from your kids. You may have had more challenging times. You may just feel like you've not given them what they needed and there's a year gone. And then you're not going to feel the contentment or the happiness or the satisfaction. So we want to make sure, you know, if I want to lose a uh, hundred pounds, let's say, then I may not want to go on, you know, a six month cruise that feeds me, you know, five times a day. The things have to be in alignment. They have to work together in order for you to achieve your success. It can't just be independence. Um, so if you say, you know, I want to go, I want to lose weight, but then you continue to eat McDonald's and drink beer, you're going to have a hard time losing that weight. So we want to focus on what do we want to accomplish and how are we going to feel when we accomplish that? And then tomorrow and the next days this week, we're going to break down, break that down into steps to help guide us into our specific steps all year long. And then we're going to tie it together and we're going to use that. Like this is a, a big planner for you, but we're going to use that to help you create and track your Facebook activity on your Facebook page, because all of this is going to be about building the life and the business that you want. So that's what we're going to do over the course of the week. And I hope you're going to join me. I hope you'll click on the link and claim your planner. Um, I see Joelle is here. Let me. Good morning, Joelle. Thanks for joining us all the way over in London. Uh, I got my tea. I hope you have wine. I always say that to you, but every time we meet, you're at wine time and I'm at tea time. So there you go my superhero mug. All right, so that's what I have for you today. Short little bit. Please join me in the challenge next week. Next week it is the uh, Facebook for Business Made Easy Challenge and we're going to be talking about, I'm going to teach you how to use your Facebook page to get more clients and customers with ease. Um, I've been doing a bit of an experiment recently. I've almost abandoned my profile. And I hear people say I abandoned my page because I get way more engagement on my profile. I just put something on my profile and I get all kinds of engagement. I put it on my page, nobody even sees it. So I've been in an experiment 
uh, doing an experiment in the last couple of weeks and I've only been posting on my Facebook page and I'm going to share what I've been doing during this challenge so that you can achieve the same results. My reach is through the roof and while I'm running ads for the challenge right now, I haven't been using Facebook ads to increase my reach or engagement, but I have been increasing my reach and engagement with the techniques I'm going to teach you next week. So please join me for that. And when you sign up for that, you're also going to get uh, the 2017 Badass Success Planner. And Erica says, this is my badass superhero mug. Yes, it is. The Captain America. My kids know me so well. <laughs> they know what I like. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. We're going to be on again tomorrow morning at 8.30 live. We're going to talk about the second step of the planner. So if you claim, uh, if you go there and claim the planner today, you will have it tomorrow so that you can work through these. So claim it today and go through that feelings planner and think about how you want to feel at the end of the year. And let's use that to guide you to making the choices to help you get there at the end of the year so that you can feel and experience massive success in the year. Thank you for being here with me today. I really appreciate your time and I will see you on Facebook.